My name is Tony Ruggieri. I'm a real estate broker and investor. Watching Kyle go through this addiction was just the worst thing in the world for me. It was very painful. We never saw it coming. And just the things that occurred with, with some, of the, some of the things that happened with regarding to the crimes and with regarding to uh, the stealing and um, just watching a person you love very much who's, he's not my son, he's just not my son. And um, it was devastating, it was devastating. The only worst thing I can think of is actually losing a child, uh, especially when we had, uh, when he was in prison. He was in prison for three and a half years and, and going to an actual prison to see your son in prison just rips your heart out, rips your heart out. Um, I, it, it was just, for about six, seven years of my life, uh, I was walking around not even knowing, I'd walk into a meeting and people would talk to me and I wouldn't even know what they'd say. My mind was just, and then I'd break down. It, it, was, it was terrible. It was just, I, 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 I don't know how to really describe it any more than that. That it was just something that, I can't think of another word, but terrible. I mean, it was just, it was crazy. It was, I don't wish it upon my own worst enemy. I got a couple enemies, no. <laughs> well, going through this with Kyle, has made me stronger in ways with my faith. Uh, I belong to a program, it's a Naranon program. It's for people who have uh, family members who are addicted. And I've kind of learned what, uh, what and how and why they do certain things, addicts. And I, and, I, and I understand some of the things, not that they're the right things, but I do understand why they do do them. Um, it's made me more aware of this problem, and, it, and it's not just an inner city problem. This is a problem everywhere, everywhere. And um, I, I, I like to lean on the Naranon. If there's anybody out there who is in a situation where they don't know what to do, you go to some of these meetings, and I've been going to one now for about three years, and this has really helped me through it, and helped me to understand what this problem is, and, and, and the magnitude of this problem, how big it really is, it affects everybody, it affects everybody. Well, going to Narnon has helped me in many ways. Uh, one of the ways is they teach you to detach with love. Okay, I cannot get involved in his business because he is not the person or the son that I have when he's under the influence. He's gonna make crazy decisions, irrational decisions, and I can't get involved because my, my, my life will be in total chaos. So they teach you to detach with love. He's kind of on his own. Um, but Narnon has taught me many things. Um, you know, you didn't cause it, you can't cure it, you can't control it. And um, these are things that an addict goes through uh, the process and you know and living Kyle living with us my attic um, I have to I have to work on some of these principles because it helps you get through now that he's in recovery it's a little easier but they say that the minute you start the addiction the minute they start using drugs until they're in recovery their brain has stopped growing so even though Kyle is um, 31 years old you know Sometimes he has the attitude and the brain functions of an 18, 19 years old, 18, 19 year old. So it's, 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 you kind of, kind of got to stay away and keep it distant. The other thing they taught us is to, um, you know, we, it's not a spiritual uh, uh, group, but we do believe in a higher power, whatever your higher power is. And you kind of got to let him go to your higher power. I, I can't control what he's doing. I can't con I, I didn't cause it, I can't, like I said, I can't control it, but I do, he's in, he's in God's hands. And for me, my higher power is God. So he's in God's hands, and that's all I can do at this point in time. Someone who's in active addiction, um, to seek help. There's so much help right now. There is, uh, um, um, you know, uh, Sandra Dorley, um, we have, um, 
drawing a blank on his name. Um, Baxter. Baxter. Todd Baxter, our sheriff. We have so many different different avenues that people who are actively, you know, addicted can go to. There's so many groups, Rock Covery, um, so many agencies out there. They, they, you know, you got to really want it. Anybody who's an addict, from my experience, if you don't want to get clean, you'll never get clean. I have a good friend of mine right now whose daughter is literally on the streets, and she just... And, and he is out of his mind. He is going out of his mind and he's in total denial. Just like I was, my wife and I were in total denial years ago. But they've got to want it. They've got to want help. If not, it's a tough road. That's a tough road and many times it just leads to death. They have, they have to hit rock bottom. I, we found out, like in Kyle's case and many other people that we know that are recovering, if you do not hit rock bottom, it's, it's a long road. It's a long, long road. What I would say to a mom and dad whose child is an active addiction, talk to them, try to get them into help. It's a tough road, it's a tough road. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of pain, a lot of tears try to get them into some type of a rehab program. Um, it's sad, but if, if the child themselves or, or the addict themselves does not want the help, there's nothing a parent can do. There is nothing you can do. They've got to want it. They've got to hit rock bottom. Um, you know, through this, through this journey, I've met many, many addicts who've been clean four or five years, and they've hit rock bottom, whether it's in prison, uh, whether they j attempted to take their lives so many times or one party uh, watched his best friend die right in his arms uh, and that just that just hit him right between the eyes and says what is going on you yeah. know and um, it, it, it's very difficult as a parent and there's there's really not much you can do unless the addict themselves wants to help themselves or hits rock bottom that's what what I've kind of gotten from all this. Um, it, there's just no no quick fix. Let's take him or her to the doctor. Let's get them fixed, you know, get them on some